He's like one of those people that when you see them in person, you're like, oh my God. It was crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know Taylor Lautner was the same guy that was in Moonlight, was in Shark Boy Lover Girl. Because I'm not gonna lie, Taylor, you look much different. You look chiseled, then chiseled, then even more chiseled. Like he looks different, but the same in every single project. You know what I mean? He's like one of those people that when you see them in person, you're like, oh my God. But on the screen, you're like, wait, is that? So, oh my God, it was, it was crazy. He's such a funny, nice guy. He was like that super cool uncle everyone has. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is actually kind of a funny one. I So we were shooting a football montage where all the players were running drills. It was like cones, ladder drills. And then at the end, Taylor was holding a pad that you had to hit. And it was like a like a blocking pad. And so they, they were rolling. They had the other kids go in front of me. There were maybe two or three other kids in front of me that ran their drills. They went through it really quickly, easy easy peasy. Then it was my turn. I got through the ladder drills, the cone drills pretty quickly. And it came up to Taylor and I went and I lowered the shoulder thinking it'd just be kind of like a faux hit, a fake hit and fake it for the screen. But he completely put me on my butt. Like he hit me so hard with that pad. He had, he had, I mean, I had no clue he was going to hit that hard. I thought we'd be faking it, but he, he didn't. It was the real deal. It was a hundred percent, but Taylor came up to me afterwards and he was like, Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, man. I, all these kids in front of you kept hitting so hard. And I thought, well, shoot, I got to hit hard back. And so. <laughs> it was really fun. I mean, it was, it was great because our, our directors, Chuck and Dan, incredible guys. They called me on a, a Zoom meeting and they were like, and we were just joking. It wasn't even really a script. I don't think it was more just like, they were trying to get to know you. And I was just cracking jokes and they were laughing and they were just like, Hey, can we see a clip of you playing football? It's like, okay. So I'm, I'm from Philadelphia. So in the time we were still in Philly and there was snow everywhere. And we were just, me and my dad were just out in the snow, like a foot of snow, just throwing football back and forth. They were like, yeah, that'll do. And then from there they called us. And they were like, yeah, we think he can, he has some potential. He can play a football player. And I was like, all right, I can slide. You know, uh, like most audition processes, uh, it just started off with the first, you know, self-tape, but uh, it's COVID right now, so we're doing a lot of things online and sending tapes in from home, but I started off with my first self-tape where I sent in an audition, and then uh, I got a call back to read with the casting directors, and then they worked with me from there, and I was sent to the directors and producers, and uh, I actually had to reschedule because I had my flag football championships that day. So I, I told them, Hey, I, I got to do this another day. I have more important things to do. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, I had to, uh, go through that whole process. And then I read with the directors, Chuck and Dan Kinane, who are awesome. I was super impressed with them from the first time. And, uh, once that happened, they, they, they booked me a couple of days later and I got the call from my managers. I, I did. I followed football pretty closely. I didn't know he went and coached his son's team until I actually got the first audition or Sean coached his son's team until I got the first audition. So I did a little bit of research, but um, I was aware of the situation. I just didn't know about everything in its full detail. They both came to set at the same time. I, we got to meet him. Uh, Sean was the nicest guy ever. Oh my gosh. He was so nice. And I was, <laughs> I mean, I was a little shell shocked and, and I don't know, but it was just, uh, it was a pleasure meeting him. And then when I met Connor, I was also a little startled because I was like, man, I'm playing you. You're, you're me. I'm you. We're, you know, we're kind of the same person right now. And <laughs> I was, uh, it was a pleasure meeting both of them, but yeah, they, they did come to set to visit. Well, I've been a football fan for pretty much my whole life. I played a lot of flag football prior to home team. 
Uh, I hadn't been able to play tackle because I'm acting, and if I got hurt, that would be a very bad thing for me. But uh, overall, I've loved football for a long time, and uh, I played quite a bit of flag. Yeah. Well, like I said, you see Tate, he's a machine. He's he's a physique of nature, as you can say. I, at least at that time, was a lot slower, a lot fatigued, I guess you can say. And so when they were all, all these guys were like running, like Usain Bolt running super fast, I'd be the last one like, hey, hey, all the way in the back. So don't worry, I've worked on it. But um, it was really hard because, I don't know, it was – a lot more running than it seems like on TV. Like on TV, it seems like they sit there, they go hike, do the little thing, and it's over. No, they're those guys train like machines. It's you know, that's a good question. I think obviously I was surrounded by a very veteran, very seasoned cast with Kevin, Taylor, Jackie, Rob, Gary. But what I learned from it was str- going into home team, I sort of struggled being free in my character. And uh, I was very uncomfortable in my characters. But I, I, I saw how free Kevin, the, Kevin, Taylor, Jackie, Rob, Gary, how free they all were. And that that really helped me kind of loosen up in my character and feel comfortable to to add to my character, to add lines or characteristics or whatever it might have been but it made me I felt more free to give input kind of yes it was I'm not gonna lie because Kevin and Gary and Rob they were crazy funny crazy I just want to say when I saw the final project so many of Gary's bits that I wasn't there for I was dying. I was watching the movie. I was just like, oh my God. They rented out like a, one of the apartments and just filled it with games like PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, foosball, everything a kid could want. It's like a candy candy shop. I am a kid, but still. Um, So we walk in the first time. It was awesome. They had every snack you ever wanted, everything. And we all would go in the room, all have our little beanbag chairs, and we'd just play a beat on the TV and we'd all freestyle. Yes, sir, we did. We did. We quarantined together for two weeks before we got here. All the boys, we quarantined. We played basketball. We did all that. We did tons of fun stuff. I think they'll love the fact it's a pure, happy, joy-filled movie that everyone, it's like a teamwork movie. You know, everyone comes together. It's underdogs. It's a classic story. How it ends, you'll have to watch and see. But I mean, not everyone's story is the same. 